Pelosi slams Shady Trump, then her scandalous past was revealed. Nancy Pelosi is a senile mess who continues to throw stones while living in a glass house. She's a disgrace to her party and a laughable stock to the world. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has been leading the charge against President Donald Trump in a recent press conference. Re Nancy Pelosi called for President Trump to release his tax returns to discover if he had financial ties to Russia. What the Democrats fail to uh, mention is that Pelosi is one of the wealthiest members of Congress. As a result of ill-gotten wealth, let's take a listen. The president continues to hide his tax returns, which should provide, could provide vital insight into what financial influence Russia has on him, whether it's personal, political, or financial. So as you heard there, Nancy Pelosi is pushing for an investigation into President Donald Trump's finances. He wants him to release his tax returns, and he's been hit, she's been hitting him over the head for it for quite some time. But what I find to be so outrageous about that is that as of 2014, we knew that Nancy Pelosi was worth over $202 million. She's one of the richest members of Congress. What we don't know is Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul's, finances. This guy is an ultra-wealthy real estate investor and a venture capitalist. And he's been able to be an active investor, not just in those areas, but also in the stock market for quite some time. He's on uh, stock in Facebook, Apple, and other big Fortune 500 companies, companies that have been impacted by her regulations. So what's been asserted by both parties is that Nancy Pelosi has engaged in insider trading because she's been able, she's been the beneficiary of information that other people wouldn't otherwise have. So Paul Pelosi is able to make active trades on her insider knowledge and benefit from her position as the minority leader in the House and formerly when she was Speaker of the House uh, as the Democratic leader under the Obama administration. Hmm. Pelosi is using the classic Democrat move of pointing fingers to disguise her own corruption. Nancy Pelosi has been a politician for 30 years, yet she is worth a mind-boggling $202 million. On average, Pelosi netted a little less than $7 million per year, a far cry from the $200,000 yearly salary earned by members of Congress. Pelosi has been able to generate her wealth through her husband, Paul Pelosi. Paul is a venture capitalist and a real estate investor. He has held numerous investments in companies impacted by the regulations passed by his wife. However, Paul Pelosi has never made his tax returns available to the public. The couple has relied on insider trading to have an unfair advantage on the stock market. Nancy has access to information not enjoyed by any other investor, giving her husband an illegal advantage. In the minds of the liberal media, only Republicans can commit scandals. Therefore, there has been no mainstream effort to uncover the sources of Nancy's obscene wealth. Nancy Pelosi is the epitome of the corrupt politician she runs for election in one of the safest districts for Democrats in the country, ensuring that she has not earned a single election victory. Once in office, she reveals secrets to her husband to aid in his investments. The Pelosi's do not just utilize secret information to trade more efficient, effectively. Nancy has helped pass legislation that has directly impacted the bottom lines of companies that her family invests in. You better be careful when you accuse Trump of, quote, shady tricks and ill-gotten wealth. It is 
due time that Nancy Pelosi and her husband released their tax returns. We've been waiting for years for the Democrats to practice what they preach. The time for change is now. Let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you for watching. I still think Pelosi should be in a mental institution.